four three. Multiply monomials. Objective. I have a guess. Multiply monomials. All right. So we're going to multiply monomials. There's rules of exponents here. It says um, products of powers. A to the m times a to the n. If they both have the same base is a to the m plus n. So what it's saying is two cubed times two squared. If the bases are the same, you can just add the exponents. 2 to the 5th. Why? Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious why. 2 to the 3rd is 2 times 2 times 2. 2 squared is 2 times 2. Well, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 2 to the 5th. So when in doubt, you know, write it out. x to the 5th times x to the 6th is x to the 11th. So I could write this as, ready? x times 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, if I wanted to. And I could count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and and see that it is x to the 11th. Because I have x, 5 of them, then 6 of them, and I have 11 all together. Now, can I write y to the 6 differently? Yeah, because I know this, this is 6 y's, right? So I could rewrite this. I don't know, I could grab these guys and put them together in these two. And I could write, we could call this y squared times y to the 4th. So just like this is equal to this, right? This is equal to this. So I could take y6 and write it as y2 plus 4, which equals y2 times y4. So it's another way to look at it, all right? Remember that. Forward, backwards, mathematics. So let's do these guys out. Um, this is 3n squared. This is 3 times n squared times 2 times n cubed, right? So I can rewrite this because of commutativity. 3 times 2 times n squared times n cubed. 3 times 2 is 6. n squared times n cubed would be n to the fifth. Why? Because it's n, n here, and this is n, n, n. All together, 6, n to the fifth. A lot of times when you're multiplying, as you say, 3 times 2 is 6, n squared, n cubed, this n makes it n fifth. All right here, 4 times 2 is 8. x squared times x to the 1, 2 plus 1 is 3. y to the 1, y to the 3, multiplying, right? It's y to the 4. Right? Remember, we can rearrange this. How, do, how can I just do that? Because this is times, 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 times. I rearrange it. 4 times 2 times x squared times x1 times y1 times y3. Add these guys get my 4. These guys got my 3. 4 times 2 is 8. So I'm not going to do this whole thing out here because I think you get the point, but I'm gonna, I can rearrange. I can just multiply in any order. So I'm going to do my 6 times 3 times 2, which is 18 times 2. I get 36 x cubed, x squared is x5, 6, 7, 8, x to the 8th, y, 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 y. So I get 9 y's. I could write this all out as 6, x, 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 y, y, 3, x, x, y, 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 2, x, 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 y, 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 I can count them all up, but why would I? x to the 4n times x to the 3n. All right. Well, what do we do? Um, I don't really, how do I write it out 4n times? I, I don't know. So let me think of something that I do know. I know x squared times x to the third. I go x to the 2 plus 3. And the rule was a m a n is a to the m plus n. These have the same base, so I can just keep that base and just add the exponents. 4n plus 3n which equals x to the 7n. Oh, cool. Okay. There's another tricky one here. We're doing some more multiplication. Um, it's all multiplying, so it doesn't matter the order. So I can do um, n times x5 times 6 times x4 times 3 times x times 2. 6 times 3 is 18 times 2. Again, I get 36. x5 and x4 is x9. There's five of them there, four, and one more is 10. So I get x10 and an n. Usually put these in alphabetical order. And here's another one. Whoa, this is confusing. So I'm going to re rewrite these with the you know the same bases next to each other. So I'm going to write this as two times m x times three times m times x squared times four m y times x m. Th two times three times four. I'll make sure that I can get all this on camera. Am I? Yep, 2 times 3 times 4. Let's get the m's together. I have m to the x times m times m to the y. 
Um, and then I have x squared times x squared and times x to the m. Um, all right, so 2 times 3 times 4, I know that's 24. Now here I have all of these three guys at the same base. So I have to add the exponents when they have the same base. x plus 1 plus y aren't like terms, so I can only write it like this. m1 plus x plus y. And here this is 2, I have to add the 2 and the m. x2 plus m. Wow, that was tough. All right. And we'll do one more example here because we're running out of time. I'll do it upside down because I'm magic. No, I'm not. Flip this around. Here we go. Woo! What is this guy? Um, I'm going to re rewrite this um, as 2 times x to the 4 plus m times y to the 3 minus x times... 4x squared times x squared times y to the 2x times 2 times x to the 3m times y to the 2x minus m. Oh my goodness. So let's get my my just uh, my my coefficients. 2, 2 times 4 times 2 out front. Um, now let's worry about um, the base x. So here's the base x here. So I can do x to the 4 plus m times, um, is there another base x? Here's a base x. x squared times, here's another base x. x to the 3m. Now, um, what about y's? We have y to the 3 minus x, right? y to the 2x. And then y to the 2x minus m. Now, when we're multiplying things to the same base, let's remember what the rule is. It says, if I have x to the a times x to the b, it equals x to the a plus b. I can add those um, exponents. I have the same, well, let's do this. 4 times 2 is 8, so I end up with 16. Here it's saying I can add this exponent to this. Then I multiply with this, I add the exponents. So 4 plus m plus 2 plus 3m, right? 4 plus m plus 2 plus 3m. Oh, sorry, I forgot to put my base down. X. And this is y to the sum of these exponents. 3 minus x plus 2x plus 2x minus m. Can I combine, can I add, make, combine like terms up here? Yeah, 4 and 2 is 6, m and 3m is 4m. And here I can do 3, no, okay, 3. I have negative x plus 2x is um, plus x, plus 2 more x is 3x, and minus m. Wow! So here's this term. These are like super duper crazy bonus problems. You won't be seeing these, but I figure I might as well go crazy with them for a minute and twist things up. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Have a nice day.